We built a production machine for the bus terminals. What this machine is all about and why we did build this machine is something which we would like to convey to you right now. But first I would like to have a short look on the motivation for us to build such a machine. Michael, the bus terminal has been introduced to the world in 1995. How did the portfolio of the bus terminal develop since then? We added new terminals year by year. So in total today we have roughly 1,200 different variants. So about 40 different new terminals are added to the portfolio every year. Okay, that sounds like a quite successful story. What kind of challenges do you see in 2023, 28 years after the introduction with this product portfolio? Yeah, luckily not only the variants are rising, but also the volume we have to produce. Okay, so it's several millions of terminals that we produce. But we do not only have high runners, which we produce in hundreds of thousands a year, we also have low runners, a couple of hundreds a year. And these high mix, low volume production needs to be addressed in our production. Okay, this means we had to rethink this topic, high mix, low volume production a little bit. And the result of this rethinking is what you are seeing right behind me. Michael, maybe you can give us a hint. What are we seeing here? We see a next generation production line. Okay. And what is this machine actually doing with the bus terminals? We always have to keep up with growth every year. So we have developed a testing and programming machine that can easily cover 80% of our portfolio. Okay. So this means 1,200 different bus terminals and all of them or the majority of them can be tested and programmed on this machine. All the bus terminals look for me as an yeah, outsider to the bus terminals a little bit the same. So they are internally different, is that right? Yeah. The challenge is that they all look the same on the outside, but they are completely different on the inside. Whether we have IOs that are analog or digital or inputs and outputs, so we have to be very flexible in programming and testing. So each and every terminal gets a specific firmware flashed on the device and then we test, of course, specific to the needs of this specific hardware-software combination. Yeah. But that sounds super flexible, but flexibility always takes time, I think. So how many bus terminals do we produce? Yes, we program and test the terminal in three seconds by running these processes in parallel, which means we have an output of 1,200 bus terminals per hour. Three seconds per terminal sounds a little bit abstract, but if you think about it, that's 1,200 units per hour. 1,200 units, if, if you use this 12 millimeter wide terminal and put them side by side, that's more than 10 meters actually. So really a lot of bus terminals coming out. And luckily, the automation of this machine is done with backup technology. And for me in particular, the best thing about the story is that the XPLANAR system is used to transport the products through the entire manufacturing flow. So in this case, the XPLANAR system is linking all the different stations. So at the beginning, we have the picker, which takes the products from the trays, places them on the mover. Then we have a small camera, which identifies the serial number of the terminal. And then each of the terminals is sent to the programming stations. At the programming stations, the terminals get a specific firmware flashed on them. And afterwards, it goes directly to the test station. And the system really benefits from the XPLANAR. So the 2D movement of the XPLANAR movers enables us to completely decouple the flow of the product. So it doesn't matter if a certain terminal needs 20 seconds in the programmer and 30 seconds in the testing station. The other ones are just driving by. Furthermore, we are also able to replace a little bit of handling system with the XPLANAR. So the XPLANAR system is, for example, in the testing station, handing over the terminal into the station. So what usually is done by a robot is done here with the XPLANAR. The testing station is also a very, very interesting aspect technology-wise. We call it the UTP, the Universal Testing Point. And Martin, you are our special specialist for measurement and for testing. What can you tell us about the UTP? Yeah, we have here this cabinet. Um, it consists of 16 independent channels. Uh, we can each channel configure to the terminal that is uh, connected here to the UDP. And uh, we use here in this UTP only back of ELM3 uh, measurement terminals as reference devices for all digital and analog tests that we do here. 
And uh, that is the right choice because we have them connected over EtherCAT. We have an absolute high sample rate and we have a high accuracy. So the right measurement device choice for such a job here in this high speed adjustment. So this is all the hardware required to test a product portfolio of 1,200 different terminals, right? In such a small cabinet. Uh, exactly, and we can uh, uh, change the configuration here in the speed of the complete machine. So uh, we can here make in one piece by piece different configurations. We are using here the ELM3.7 ELM multi-interface terminal, so we can switch from voltage to current. Everything that the terminal needs that is connected here on the explainer system. Okay, so super flexible measurement technology, super fast switching and low space requirements. Thank you, Martin. Um, but now you could, might ask, why do we do this? For sure, it's a nice demo case, but Michael, again, if I would desire to buy such a wonderful terminal like the EL1008, what are the benefits which I have from such a machine? First of all, we can produce the high volumes needed by our customers. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we can stay very flexible in our thinking about our new innovations because we can test nearly all different functionalities on the machine. And third, we even increase the quality because we test more points on this machine than we did before. I think this is a wonderful sentence for the end of this small video from our I.O. production facility. If you want to see this, if you want to experience back-of-technology manufacturing, back-of-technology, then you are most welcome to visit us here in FAIR. We are looking forward to meet you.